Miss Away Flute and I am back with another video. Currently I am setting up my flute binder for this year and I just want to take you along on my journey. I have my first rehearsal for one flute ensemble I'm a part of today at I believe 3 o'clock and then the other rehearsal I have is on Monday at 5 o'clock. One meets once a month and one meets once a week. The furthest one meets once a month. Thank goodness, because <laughs> that is a lot of driving. And then the other one meets once a week and that one is more local. I, in my last video, I said that I wanted to start using my computer more, which I have my computer back on my music stand behind me charging i will i do have the music downloaded onto the computer but i just want to have a hard copy in my binder just in case since i am not super familiar with using like a computer or tablet to read music off of and i don't have a pedal i have it like set up in like the music app on my computer and I just have to tap and click it. So sometimes it might be easier to use the paper. Plus, I, I prefer writing on my music. I, I did buy a pencil that so I can write on the music in the computer. But either way, I'm covered because this will never change. But let's say if something happens to it, I spill something on it or something, I don't know. I have my computer. So I'm gonna bring bro both to the rehearsal today and then I'm just going to see I guess what happens which one I prefer to use and which one I like better I'm not sure if I have to bring a stand if I do I'm going to bring my um I think it's Manhasset Manhasset I don't know how you pronounce it but the standard metal stand just because I like despise those metal wiry stands I get that they're easy and they're portable, but come on now, they are not sturdy at all. And you you cannot put a computer on there. I may be a tablet because a tablet is a bit lighter, <laughs> but you cannot put a computer on there where and not expect it to topple over. Because you put like a few sheets of music and you know, good luck to that. So yeah, I am going to bring my big stand and then we'll just see what happens. So I'm putting one ensemble's music in my one folder and I'll do a flip through at the end. And then I'm going to print the other ensemble and then I'm gonna put it in my next side. So this is, I have my warm ups, well, part of my warm up page. I kept this from college which it has a cold tones, the minor, the Tafnel Guber pattern. <laughs> I don't know why I emphasized it, but the pattern. And just certain things. The other one has different scales, like octatonic scales and stuff. These are the whole tone scales. These are kind of like the checkoff. I just kept these from college and I just put them in my new binder. This is one food ensemble, the purple one. The one I have the rehearsals the most. And then this blue tab will be the next thing. And then I have like a vocalesis, like different warm ups in this tab. And then I have oops, this, which is like um, scanned um, pages of the flute excerpt packet of different orchestral excerpts to practice. So I'm going to print the rest and I'm going to put it in here and then I'll come back. Okay, y'all, I'm going to update you about, this is my first time really like rehearsing the music with the, uh, the, on, the flute orchestra, I should say, not ensemble, because it's quite a bit of flutes. Anyways, my first impression was one that I actually enjoyed it. I didn't think that I wasn't going to enjoy it, but I was so nervous 
going in. I don't know why. I think I'm always nervous the first rehearsal. And also because I only looked at the music once. So that's not really enough time to truly practice it. We didn't get it, the music, that much um, in a lot of time before the actual rehearsal. But all in all, it was okay. Did I play some wrong notes? Yes. Did I play some, <laughs> some wrong rhythms? Yes. But it was fun. And a lot of the songs, I was the only person on the part because some of the other people who played that same part were absent. I don't know if they're going to be there or not in the future, but it was okay. Um, I enjoyed it. I liked it. I honestly said I liked it. The people were nice. I honestly think I was the youngest person there. I mean, that's no problem to me, but just observing the de demographics. And yes, I was the only uh, black person, you know, but that's not bad. Everybody there was so sweet and nice and helpful and encouraging. And I played the solo in the song. One um, solo was like the same as the Korean folk song solo. And then there was another one. I think I had like different excerpts of other flute solos in that piece. And on that part, I played third. And yeah. So it was okay. Overall, it was okay. I enjoyed the experience. I was nervous a lot. I think the next time I play with them, I'll be more prepared and better practiced. And since I've done it once, it won't be as nerve wracking. But definitely interesting. I know for next month, because we would meet once a month, I know that I have to plan a little bit better, like doing my meal prep and, and just planning for school. I had to do it on Saturday because, you know, this morning I was also busy. So, yeah, just I feel confident for the month of September is going to go way better because I'm doing like a cleanse and I've been more on my working out and in my plan and I have a friend that's like kind of going to do with me so i'm very excited about next month next rehearsal and just in general september overall and playing in flute ensemble so i'm excited i'm happy that i went and i'm just can't wait until our concert in october i feel like it will be a good one it'll be good yeah that's my overall consensus about <laughs> the rehearsal until next time